what you guys got another video here for you on how to check your computer's hardware performance now if you look inside your computer and look at system information all you're going to get is information about your computer but it doesn't tell you how your computer performs and how it stacks up against other hardware on the market so whether you need to upgrade your pc or whether you don't need to upgrade your pc will determine on your benchmark scores against other hardware and this can give you a good idea whether you need to upgrade your GPU, CPU, memory, and things like that. So first, let's go over to User Benchmark. It's a website which allows you to do a free benchmark. What you need to do here is download the software. This is a speed test for your PC, and it takes about less than a minute to complete. So we've got this downloaded, and we're just going to click on the executable file here and run this on the PC. It's a simple little install here. It's just going to go install and create a shortcut and also launch the uh, user benchmark. It looks something like this, and there's a bunch of other effects that goes on with this particular software. So I'll quickly let this run, and then we can take a look at the results. Once the uh, benchmark is finished, it will gather some information, and then it will give you your overall performance score and give you some information about your system so you can read up against other types of hardware. So let me quickly close this program off here, and it will take us to the performance results of our system. Now, this is not a brand new computer I'm using here. It's a Ryzen 3800X, and it does give you some information about how good it is for gaming and desktop and also workstation. So whether you want to use it for one of those uh, types of systems, you can do. And you can see here, it does give you some information about uh, the bench it says outstanding 92.2 percent and it gives you some other information about normal heavy and server for what it can actually be used for again the rtx uh, 2070 super it says outstanding score 120 percent that means it can still be used in the modern day for gaming and again we can take a look at the drives this is an nvme drive on here and it's given us an outstanding score for our nvme drive and also you can see here uh, the Western Digital Drive got a poor result because it's a mechanical drive. Gives you the speed of your RAM as well. And it says outstanding 95.4. And it gives me uh, 32 gigs on this system. You can tally this all up and have a look at your uh, scores. And you can even uh, submit your scores for your FPS for gaming on low, medium and high settings. This also helps uh, with others that are searching for um, specifications for other hardware so if you've got particular hardware they can search this site and because you've submitted your scores it will then give them some answers and it gives me a, a rough benchmark and value and things like that of the current system that I'm using you could do a PC build comparison here against other components and this is the beauty of this particular software. And with this particular piece of software, it's going to be able to tell you whether your hardware is still relevant today and whether you need to upgrade to certain other particular hardware. And you can cross-reference those and do comparisons with other hardware. And this is basically what this is for. It helps you understand what your system's like in the modern day and what it can do. And you can compare it with other uh, stuff as well so let me just quickly show you the compare bit here you can click on processors or graphics cards or other things and compare them against other particular types of hardware to see whether it's worth upgrading it does give you a full breakdown of your system here and tells you exactly uh, what it thinks of your hardware and what uh, the score is and whether you should probably upgrade or not now, the compare feature is pretty useful if you want to compare your current system against other uh, CPUs on the market or other GPUs, and you can do a comparison uh, against these. So, for instance, we got a Core i5 9600K. Now, we know the Intel i5s were really great for gaming, and you can see here that we have this processor selected here. You can select any processor, and then you can compare it against other particular types of processors to get a rough idea of how much uh, performance you would get if you changed your CPU or upgraded your CPU. And you can do this for GPUs and other things like that. Now, I'm not sure how accurate this is, but let's go ahead and select our 3800. 
here, and this is the 3800X Ryzen 7 against the 9600K, and it's an i5 against a Ryzen 7. And they're saying that the uh, 9600K is 7% better at gaming for FPS. And you can go through here and you'll be able to see the FPS results against my CPU that I've got here. So when you're comparing CPUs, whether you're comparing this one here, uh, you can just do a comparison here for the 3800X. And you can do other ones. You can uh, do comparisons for GPUs, SSDs, uh, RAM, and other things like that. So remember to have a good look at the results itself. Don't just look for the FPS uh, for gaming because there's other things to take into account. For instance, the 3800X is an older CPU. It's got eight cores, as you can see here, against six cores of the Intel. So again, when it comes to video editing and things like that and rendering, it's going to obviously be a little bit better than the Intel. You can see here it gives it higher scores down this neck of the woods. But when it comes to FPS, it's giving it to the Intel. So have a good look right through the specifications to make sure you're buying the right CPU or upgrading for the right reasons. There's no good upgrading your CPU if you don't need to and you're only gaining a very small amount of uh, performance boost. Make sure the boosts of performance are worth you spending your hard-earned cash when it comes to upgrading your CPU or GPU or any computer component in your PC. If you look at the 5800 here, this is the 5800X. This is their newer one here. Now, I'm not sure how accurate these scores are, but you can see the 5800X starts to take a lead over that uh, 9600K. And we're talking about more cores here for the 5800X. And again, you can start to see it starts to excel in overclocking and other things other than just gaming. So it does start to take a massive lead. So you have to look at the whole uh, comparison to get a good idea of whether it's worth upgrading your current CPU or GPU uh, to a newer one and how much is it worth you spending how far have you got to go and how much have you got to spend to get a decent upgrade anyway i hope this video has been some sort of use to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support and i shall see you again for another video real soon or i will see you on our discord server for a chat have a nice day and i'll catch you real soon bye for now